Let's, okay, Siri, let's hear you. Let's hear you speak to me. She's very quiet right now. Turn right, then turn left. Man, Google is having a hard time finding. Turn right, then turn left. Google, Google Map is having, Google Maps is having difficulty in this, in this back street area. But I found another place that's still on my list. And here we are. Today I'm exploring Boda and I kind of want to explore some of the food culture. I was supposed to meet up with a, a foodie blogger but I think time is just not going to work out. So I'm setting off on my own. We'll see if I can find some of these places that I've researched um, for must try foods when you're in Boda. Now Boda is a really interesting place. Despite the fact that the road condition isn't so great and there's a lot of dust, it's still culturally very interesting because it's a mixture of uh, Tibetan Buddhism. Hello. I, smell the incense in here. I feel like I should be hearing chanting music right now. There's a lot of monasteries in this area. You'll find great little restaurants or cafes inside um, the Boda area. I love that that the dog crossed the road so easily. Tasty Laughing Center. Oh wait, but there's also Yummy Laughing Center. I've seen that also. That has a bit more people. Tasty laughing or yummy laughing? What do you think? I guess it's just like really a shot in the dark. Yummy laughing center? Okay, so they're making the laughing here. So, uh, vegetable laughing, mild spice. Soup? Um, yes. So I had this one. This is the one I had. Um, this is the only one, the other one that I should have, maybe I should have tried. But that looks very, very spicy. So laughing is um, originally a northern Chinese dish, um, noodle dish, and it kind of migrated to to Nepal and is in within the Tibetan community. So you can really only find laughing here in Boda is what I heard. It's supposed to be like a cold, spicy soup. And I hear it's very, very spicy. Um, there's like texturized meat, which is kind of like um, a soy product. I'm wondering if this is the one. I think there's another one that I'm supposed to try that's not soup, but it's supposed to be like um, like rolled up. So I asked her for a vegetarian one. I'm gonna try it right now. But you can see the soy protein right here. Um, these are the noodles and the soup, which I guess I'm gonna taste right now. Oh, look at that. A lot of people have been warning me about the spice. Uh, and I only brought like a couple of tissues. So here we go. Look at that. Whoa. I doesn't want to stay on the fork. This is like a teeny tiny fork. Mm. Laughing is a must try dish in Boda. And I can see why. The, t the flavor. Mm. The pepper, I can taste the pepper, the chili. Mm. The noodles have their own flavor. It's very flavorful, actually. Very savory taste. Mm. It's really good. And I'm very hungry right now. I did not have breakfast. Look at this noodles. Mm. Strangely, even though it's supposed to be really spicy for some people, this is something you would take during the summer because it's a cold soup. And I guess it's really refreshing during the summer, even though it has like a, a nice full spice to it. But yeah, this is spicy, it's just not, it's not like, 
without searing my, my tongue. Maybe eventually within five minutes my nose will start to drip. <laughs> Mm. This seems like such a simple meal, but it is very full and tasty. A little bit. Two minutes later, I have a low tolerance. So this is a soup obviously people can come together over. I still have yet to drink the soup. I, I just noticed they have filtered water. Mm. It's kind of got a vinegary taste to it, um, a, a slight one. It's not too like um, oily. I think that oil has to do with like the pepper or the, the chili, the chili paste. It's kind of nice. It's like perfect. You know, initially when I first started doing food videos, I wasn't too strongly a foodie. I like food, but I was I was always like vegetarian, so I couldn't really explore anything. But ever since I've been traveling more and I've been opening up to um, trying different foods wherever I go, the world of you know, gastronomy has opened up to me. Thank you. This must be a popular spot for this kulfi because I've been seeing a lot of people here eating this. And I'm not sure if it has to do with the fact that it's good or the fact that it's cooling after you eat your la. I'm thinking it's a little bit of both. Mm. <laughs> There's also pani puri everywhere too. I'm noticing. You can see the stupa over there. And then see, even this place has laughing. Apparently in Boda there is laughing everywhere. <laughs> So this is the Fulbari area. It's a very busy street. <laughs> so as I walk down Fulbari, I kind of get the impression that it's very much like the eating street. This is where all the food's at. Or like, you know, the snacks, anything. Oh, there's Pani Puri. Where there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of lots of restaurants, and just restaurants, 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 as well as shops. Okay, we're here at Tibetan Top Tasty Laughing Center, and I read about it online. Um, a, a few people recommended this spot for laughing, so let's go in. Uh, well, it's a, actually a really small place, but it's a popular eatery, especially if you're interested in having laughing. You can see that um, she makes the laughing right off for the street, so you can kind of like see the process being made. Everything happens very fresh. You can see her just chopping the noodles up right there. As well as the Szechuan pepper for a little spice. And now she's mixing all those ingredients and flavor into the rice paper noodle. Here she adds a tofu-like meat. Then it gets rolled up and chopped into pieces. She's getting chopped. So you can see her making the laughing right here. And that's what we're gonna try next. Now he's making laughing soup, adding the same ingredients but serving it in a slightly different fashion. In goes the pepper. I'm thinking that might be a little sesame oil. You've got some vinegar. And he finally tops it with a base soup of soy sauce. The blend of all of these ingredients together creates a perfect balance of flavors. Wow, that looks amazing. So delicious. Okay, so there's a distinction between the white and the yellow. Yeah. I think I'm going to try the yellow. <laughs> that's the one I see in pictures in it. It looks the most popular. 
but you can see her making the laughing right from the street. Wow, okay, so this is laughing. There's a soup and a dry version of laughing. This is the dry version. It's just wrapped up and you've got the, I want to say tofu substitute there. Here we go. So you can see it was very, it's a very simple dish. Cheers. When it hits your mouth, you feel like the salt. Just spray. Mm. And the spice just kind of like opens up the salt. So it's got a full flavor to it. So I think it's because it just spreads all that stuff out evenly. So it's like eating all the noodles. I feel like laughing is a dish that you can try. It's kind of light. You want to take it's kind of like a not appetizer, but something to satiate you um, while you're like This is something that won't weigh you down or throw you into food coma. This is definitely a popular dish to try when you're in Baudel. And I don't think they have this swapping anywhere else in Kathmandu. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, give it a share, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more of my solo travel adventures as I take you inside and knock off my bucket lists of travel. Leave your comment down below and let me know what you think of my video. Above all, may the girl be with you. The next place we're going to is right around the corner.